Pablo Gunner here for another nerdy fitness vlog. So last night, I think I had the same thing I have been doing, which is a bagel with some butter. Oh, and I had a yogurt bar. It's like an organic yogurt bar from the co-op or from the natural grocers, one of those. Um, and, uh, and then the bagels are from the bagel shop in the Rio Rancho. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, so last night I ran, I did two miles. Yeah, I did two miles exactly. And I did it in about 18 and a half, I want to say 18 and a half minutes. Um, I did stop in between to like catch Pokemon during my run. Uh, and I was listening to some, um, I was listening to some Snoop Dogg do from Doggy Style, uh, that album, and then, uh, Easy E's album. I don't, I don't, I can't recall the, the name of the, of it yet. I haven't listened to the full thing. I just threw it on shuffle, um, for all the, all the new stuff I downloaded, all the new, uh, rap, hip hop rap that I downloaded, um, from uh, Apple iTunes or iTunes Music or whatever the other day, uh, yesterday. So yeah, um, so yeah, uh, felt pretty be good. It was pretty good. I was I was kind of slow though. Uh, it was kind of like an intervals thing because I was like, okay, well since I'm stopping so often, I'll sprint until some Pokemon cut catch up, which was kind of a problem because they didn't show up for like the last mile. Like I did my first mile and a lot showed up, and then after I got that over that mile, it was just like me hauling so um so yeah but yeah it felt good it was pretty good uh saw a coyote in the parking lot i had to chase him down um but anyways uh so that was fun um and then i just you know i stretched before stretched after felt good what here's the thing though here's one of the worst things about working out is the hunger um i i'm i just i i'm just so hungry uh, all the time now so or when I work out so yeah um, so but you know so I ate right away actually once once my shift started I ate uh, I had a piece of I have some leftovers from rock and brew it was uh, barbecue chicken um, and it was like a thigh or something so I ate the rest of that I ate that which here's the thing about barbecue chicken it's, it's kind of awful or not awful but like okay so when you have barbecue chicken and you don't take the skin off, then you're just flavoring the skin. And I won't eat the skin. I don't like the skin because it's just fat and it's gross. If it's crispy, it's good and it's okay. You know, when it's like stuck to the chicken, that's fine. But it wasn't like that. It was just, you know, fat. And so I just strip it off. And then it just tastes like chicken. And chicken doesn't really have much of a taste unless you season it. So I didn't have much of a taste, you know, after... I stripped the uh, stripped the the skin off. I did try to rub the skin or rub the skin onto it just so I could get some of the rajudu uh, barbecue sauce onto it, but it still didn't have much taste. So it wasn't it wasn't that great. That's why I, I always like to put like a crap ton of lemon pepper on my chicken, you know, after I take off the chicken uh, skin or uh, like some mesquite seasoning. Also, what's also really good is Italian seasoning. You get like two or three chicken breasts, maybe four, whatever, throw it in a baggie, let it marinate, and then cook it in the oven, all these things. You just cook it in the oven for about an hour and it tastes delicious and fantastic and it's healthy and it has taste. Uh, I used to have rotisserie from Costco for for years and years, but now I can't stand the taste because it just it just grosses me out because I had it for so long. Um, so yeah, that's what I ate, and then um, and then I also had uh, some mac and cheese and some green beans. Um, it, there wasn't too much cheese; it was just mostly noodles, pasta. So, but I was like, I know I'm gonna need the energy in the morning. So, but like I said, it was a few hours apart. Like it was at least three or. Four, Four hours apart from from uh, you know when I ate the chicken and the I, I also had a yogurt the wife got me some Ecuadorian mango yogurt from I think the co-op it was delicious there was barely any mango flavoring at the bottom but once I mixed it in it just tastes divine uh, so yeah that's what I had with the barbecue chicken after the barbecue chicken um, made me feel all full because I wasn't full after that one piece of thigh um, 
And then when I had the uh, the mac and cheese a few hours later with the green beans, I also drank uh, this like Herbert's lemonade. I think it's natural or organic or something. Um, and it has like half the sugar that most things do. I'm trying to cut out the sugar, but the wife got it for me and I don't wanna be rude and I'm gonna drink it. So, uh, but I told her I just want water from now on, you know, don't get any more anything with sugar. So, but it is good though. So anyways, uh, so yeah, and I knew I was gonna do a workout in the morning. So I got off around like 7.45, was in the gym by eight and uh, changed out and everything like that, which uh, I think I'm gonna shout out to uh, the Mikhailovich, Mikhailovich Mathy, Mike Mathy, uh, because he actually hooked me up with this shirt and uh, another shirt that looks just like it and a tan one too, um, so which you'll probably be seeing me wearing um, in these videos. So anyways, yeah, so thanks to him for hooking me up with these free of charge. That was very, uh, very nice of him, so I appreciate that a lot. Um, so. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, and I did all abs today. I attempted to do a minute for each one. I made it about halfway through the list before I just could not anymore, and I just did as much as I could with each, with each workout. That's another one. I'll, I'll post that one, um, you know, with the videos, uh, you know, when they post. And I'll post it on my personal Facebook, so if you're on my personal Facebook, uh, it'll be on there, too, if you're friends with me. I'll, I'll accept your friendship. Just send me like a message or something telling me who you are, where you're from, why you're friending me or whatever, you know, and uh, I'll accept your, your friendship. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really intense abs, um, really hardcore. Uh, so yeah. And, uh, but now I got to, uh, go help out my hermano, uh, that's brother or hermano, uh, that's brother in Espanol, if you don't know. And uh, so yeah, um, and then I'm gonna go grab some comics after that because uh, it's Comic Book Wednesday um, from Twin Sons. And uh, let's see what else. I feel like there's something else that I need to do. Oh yeah, so I also I ordered a DBZ shirt from JustSayin.com or whatever, Just Saying Gear. Uh, the uh, last night um, they had a discount code for July the 4th, as well as there's a lot of discounted tank tops that are there for 36 bucks. Thing is, their shipping is ridiculous. Thing is, their shirts are ridiculously expensive usually. Like, they're about 50 bucks, and it's not even licensed by DBZ. And then on top of that, like, the shipping is 12 bucks. So, but like I said, tank tops were 36 bucks or 37 bucks, and then I had a discount that was like eight bucks off, so I ended up having to pay like 42 bucks. Um, so not horrible, but still about the same price as Under Armour. So, and it's it's the uh, it's Vegeta's armor, but it has the Weiss symbol on it. Um, so uh, I'm pretty jacked off about that, but it also makes me feel like I need a blue um, Saiyan wig. So uh, yeah, so I think that's it for now. Um, I do have a question though, which is, uh, do you have different music? for different workouts you know like if you have cardio do you listen to a certain song doing cardio if you lift do you do certain genre or certain s kinds of songs for you know lifting or whatever you do like do you do that and if so what are they and i'll see if i can add them to my list you know like i said through the apple music so that would be much appreciated uh that's it for me for now love and peace uh, stay fit, stay healthy, stay nerdy, and uh, talk nerdy to me.